There's a very common mistake players make when they get a weak short forehand. And in fact, this player in yellow makes this same mistake and it ends up costing him the point. Now, first, this video is courtesy of Jay Tennis on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I've put their link in the description below. Let's go, So here we've got the server standing a little bit wider. He's a lefty, so it's very common that you'll see players stand a little bit farther over than normal to help them serve out wide. And no, you don't have to worry about the open court because the more out wide you serve, the more likely the ball comes cross court to you anyway. Uh, he does not quite serve as far out wide as I'm sure he wishes. Uh, here is the returner using that simple step split position. You can see the timing of his split step. He is in the air as the serve is being struck and he's landing the split after. That synchronizes your brain with when your feet hit the ground. That's exactly what you want. So he turns. I love this split, turn, hit, step, split, turn, hit, step, footwork. You'll also notice the return is hit right down the middle, super consistent. And right here, the player in yellow gets the weak ball. The ball lands in front of the service line. So here is the mistake that is so common. First, when you get a short ball, the ball that lands short and it pops up, what you want to do is get the ball at the peak. You want to get the ball very close to the peak because you want to make sure that you are making contact with the ball above net level, which this player absolutely is. He's moving forward to get this ball. He's not letting the ball come to him. He's attacking this. But do you see how scrunched he is? In fact, you can watch the way he moves. He moves forward and then has to move left. Watch him go forward to the ball. And then he jumps left. The reason for this is because he's not accounting for the fact that when you play the ball higher, you have to stand farther from it. So when you're going forward to the ball, it's so common that we get jammed on this ball because the distance we are from the ball is different on a higher ball than it is on a lower ball. And the reason is because your arm is a radius. So your arm is a radius. So as his arm drops, his hand and his racket will end up being closer to him. So the ball that is played the farthest from you is the ball that's played around shoulder level, head level. So when you go forward, you cannot stand the same distance from the ball you typically do, but rather when he's coming forward, he should have been moving over here to give himself the distance away from the ball. He runs straight forward, then has to jump left. He would have been better off moving left and getting over here to begin with. Then he would not have been jammed. This is what ends up forcing him to actually hit the net. In fact, right here, you can kind of see this motion. I don't know if what he's saying is like, oh, I don't know what that hand motion is, like what he's thinking in his mind. Uh, maybe he's thinking that he was too close to the ball and maybe that's what he felt. But if you're the type of person who wishes you were better at weak, short forehands, the key to this is to stand farther away than you typically do. That's when you can have that full extension and you're not going to just dump it into the net. Now, if you'd love to use the same strategies the pros use to win their matches, then you got to pick up the singles playbook by Fuzzy Yellow Balls. It's all broken down by the type of opponent you play against. And it's over 50 pages, strategy after strategy. And what's really cool is each page comes with a QR code so you can watch a video of exactly how to use each strategy. Just use my link in the description and pinned in the first comment. And if you're looking for people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, or if you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link in the description and pinned in the first comment, playercourt.com slash two minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. So please go out and film yourself practicing these weak balls. Maybe take a lesson with a local pro and have them feed you these weak balls. When you get a weak ball, you want to get away from it. So right here, he should be moving to his left to be farther away from the ball because it's so easy to get jammed if you stand the normal distance from these higher, weaker balls. You stay away from the ball, there's no doubt. You're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.